Okay, this is going to be a short introduction on how to set up um, for Redux DV to DVD version 5. Okay, here we go. Go to General Settings and we look at those. And here you see working folder it says C documents and settings administrator my documents co convert X blah 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 we're going to change that we're going to call this convert X to DVD So now we have that, we have the remember last open folder. And then we want to change some other stuff. We want to change this to last display last tab use when clicking on another title set. Then remember sh show advanced check mark states. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do Oh, we want to do this. Do not prop for updates. And then we we want we don't want to check or we don't want to check for internet updates regularly. We don't and we don't want to minimize to to tray, but we do want to show tray notifications. So then we click over on language. If you're in the United States, you'd want to click, click on English. And then we go to chapter and then we want to create a chapter every five minutes for title sets longer than 15 minutes you can change that if you like but we'll just keep it that way for now okay then another thing we want to look at are DVD menus the way it's the default setting is set to uh, black mirror, but we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to change this to no menu, and then we want to change this down here. And um, and uh, right underneath where it says edit DVD menu labels. And so we want to skip the auto start playback. We don't want to loop the playback, but we do want to play titles one, a one after the other, so we'll check that. We want to skip the root menu initially, then we want to return to title menu after playback, and then we don't want to create a title menu for single title. Then we go up to burning, and here this is set to automatically burn with my burner, but we don't want to do that, so we'll uncheck that box. Okay, then we go down to um, below where it says DVD, default DVD label. And then we have some check boxes to check here. One says add ISO file destination to drive list. We don't want to do that. Um, we don't want to do any of this stuff here. So we'll check all these boxes. And then where it says SAO options on DVR, we have different choices here. Uh, but we'll just go with automatic. Let me go to TV format. If you're doing stuff on the internet, uh, converting movies from the internet, we would want to change the format if you're in if you're in Europe you'd use PAL or if you're the United States of America and Asia you'd use NTSC so we'll switch this to NTSC and then 
what I do for movies I get I get from different sources I'll switch this to from full D1 which is 720 by 480 or 720 by 576 if you're using PAL I switch it to half D1 which is half of that the D1 whatever that means and then um, so I change that to 320, 352 by 480 or if you're in PAL land it's 352 by 576 and you go up to video processing and then we just leave that the way it's set and then I believe we're done here except for um, subtitles okay if you want to use subtitles so the default subtitle language and that's right now it says it's unspecified since I'm I speak the English language I'm going to change that to English and that's how we set up part of how we set this up then when we go to burn oops. okay we have um, these tabs up here so it's display title set as as basic list then we want to also turn off the preview so the way we do that is we hide editing preview. There's a there's a arrow in the upper right going to the right, and so we do that.